What is up guys, Woody LS3 coming at you with another vlog. Today we're gonna go, like I said in my previous video, my tire is a little kicked out. We're gonna go to the alignment shop with my boy Alex. He's gonna get my tire back straight, obviously doing alignment. I didn't know that once you do change shocks, you might need to get an alignment. I went and got my alignment done and then I changed my shock. So you learn something new every day. But no big deal, my boy Alex is going to take care of me. Also, we're going to show him the truck because he has not seen it yet. He's going to see the truck for the first time. He's going to let me know what he thinks, see if he likes it or if he doesn't. But we're going to go get an alignment, get this truck running back straight again. I still need to paint the back drum. Uh, I don't know if we'll do it on this video or what, but we do need to do that soon. That way it can look good. I like the way that brake caliper highlights the wheel. I think it looks awesome. Nice. So we got to make that rusty drum, make it nice and black again. That way it doesn't look so bad. But right now, let's go ahead and go with my buddy Alex and get this truck aligned. So let's go. I was about to ask you, I was about to ask oh, you. Nah, that motherfucker came out clean, bro. Bro, I've been trying to show you this truck for the longest. Like, <laughs> y'all want some more two weeks? Here. I seen it on picture. Hey, the calipers came out good, huh? Yeah. Damn. And I also painted this, I mean, this little hook. You remember that on that gray truck you sold? Uh-huh. It, it had that painted red. Oh, and you saw them like that? Yeah, huh? I saw it. I got that idea ah, from that the, truck. The, the truck up from Freddy. Yeah, yeah, that one. It changed it a whole lot, though. Yeah, bro. It looks like a straight-up race truck. <laughs> I mean, it will be, right? Oh, yeah, it's going to be. Cow tracks? Yeah, coming soon, coming uh, soon. It looks weird in front, huh? It, it, it lifted up a little bit more. Yeah, because I, I think because of the new shocks. Well, once we push the tires, then it probably... They'll probably put it back to level with that one, bit, right? Yeah, the back one. even then. I mean, uh, Victor from IHC, uh, he said that there's a little spacer. He said that sometimes you can take that off and uh, it'll you, fix it. Well, also, we don't want the angles to... Damn! Nice. Yeah, uh, so these, are, these are my brothers. Y'all serious in the Honda game? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Damn, these guys are serious in the Honda game, guys. Alex just picked up something. Oh, I'll let him show you. I should bring out the other car, huh? Oh, you have it? Show it to Freddy. Oh, yeah. I think we should go hit a Freddy. Alex got He's something spice. Probably take it to the show. Might have, to, might have to. But guys, Victor from IHC, he messaged me and wanted me to update him on the drop, make sure that everything is right with the kit and everything like that. So I think that's awesome of him to contact me and just to make sure that the kit's doing good and I don't have any issues with it. Guys, that just goes to show you what IHC does. They will make sure that your kit is working good and doing what it's supposed to do and you're not having any issues with your kit. So big shout out to Victor from IHC, but we're going to get it aligned and uh, fix that little camber that it has. Or uh, I don't know, what, what, what do you call that? Is that like, like camber or is that, what is that called? What? When it pitches out like that. Yeah, the camber. Camber? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to see if we can Caster fix it. Too caster and all that so Alex I know Alex is gonna take care of it he's gonna fix it make sure it's running right again because I did this is my second time getting an alignment on this truck and within like what two weeks yeah <laughs> you're supposed to get an alignment after you get all the suspensions all right, I didn't know that somebody in the comments I'm in mean, yeah that I was supposed to do that but guys I didn't know that I kind of did but then I was like man it, I gotta do it anyway and I had already put the wheels on but there's a little spacer let me check if it, if it has them mine has a spacer oh take them off you want to take them off? Yeah. You don't help it? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. I can quit them. Ahí están los tiene. Yeah, it will drop at least half an inch more. Yeah, because I I actually measured it. I think I'm yeah, half an inch inches. higher. And actually, you you'll be better off because the angle of the axle is up. So once you drop it, it'll be low. It'll be level. It'll be level. So there you go, guys. You learn something new every day. Luckily, I'm with the next expert right now, my boy Alex, right here. He knows everything about lift kits drop kits, alignments, and everything. So I came to the right place. So we're gonna get this truck running right. And uh, like I said, Alex said he's gonna be easy. So let's go ahead and get to work on this truck. Well, not me, my boy Alex. Is Alex's whip. Damn, Alex. <laughs> what you think? Hey, I swear, bro, I have only pumped gas once, and I've been driving it all week. It's a gas. Gas saver, huh? And it still has half a tank. Don't let, don't let Alex fool you guys. He has a, a 2021 Shelby truck, so don't let him oh, fool you. <laughs> Hard times right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
the AC and everything, man. Hell yeah, bro. I'll drive it home, bro. Can y'all look? That's a stock, stock stereo. Hell, yeah, you need some window tint, though, boy. I know, I just got a fish bow in here. <laughs> this morning, it didn't feel that bad because it, was, uh, it wasn't that hot, but right now, shit is hot. I mean, maybe tin and maybe a windshield? I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the windshield? Oh, shit. Oh, damn, Ellie's gonna kill us. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we're here at Alex's storage where he has things like this and yeah, right. things like this. But, like I said, he's also in the Honda game, so this is his new Honda. We were like, our, like when we were kids, you know, we were teens. Dang, you got so a car seats. Yeah, tough on cars. Still need some work. Like yeah, you got a fully good look. Alex, you ready to party? Oh no, this it's uh, it's not for weight reduction or anything. It's just missing. So it's just a little cruiser. Yeah, it's just missing. <laughs> yeah, boy. The rear seat. <laughs> yeah. What are these? What, what is this called? I, I I thought these were from like Japan. They're called the SIR. Am I wrong? I think it's like a EK8. They come out of the newer ones. I mean the older ones, mm -hmm. which is like the 96 to 98. 98. But from Japan, uh, the yeah. ones in Japan have these little. Yeah, those little boxes. These little, yeah. Yeah, um, so it has it here and on the back too. Yeah, that's how they come. In the rear. Look at that, guys. That's that's a JDM thing right there. Yeah. So when we saw it, I was like, oh, it has those fucking bumpers. This one has the, the AJDM front end. Yeah, this one's nice. I like yeah. the whole black on this one. This one has the same engine setup as this one. Look. So this one has a B16 head with the B18 block, Damn. right, Woody? Yeah. Yeah, the same thing. It's pretty much the LSV tech. It's called the the JDM, the, the cheek version of JDM, right? It's a four man type four R. Man, that's what it, that's what it, four man okay. type R. Yeah, back in the day, an LS VTEC was a poor man type bar. I, uh, I used to have one, so I mean, shit. It was but, cheaper to build. <laughs> it was cheaper to build. Yeah, shit. I mean, who had that money to import a motor from Japan? Back in the day, you would have to import type bars. Uh, it was super rare to have a type bar, but now they have all these companies that do it for you. So, Alex, question of the day. What's up? Will we be seeing you race Freddy and the guys? Freddy back with another video. Well, probably I'll probably race Freddy and the yellow ones because they are out of you know out of control. It's, it's badass. <laughs> yeah, I probably I think that one that can probably beat it will be the yellow one because it has similar setup. Yeah, we'll see. I think it'll be a good run. Huh? Good run, huh? Yeah, yeah. His is already tuned. This this one has a Honda computer, so it might be tuned. It has a Honda? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure the guy did it right. I mean, from the looks of it, it looks like it's done, right? It runs I mean, good. I drove it back from um, from Baytown. Yeah, that's a drive. Yeah, that's a drive. Yeah, it was hot, bro. Yeah. It was hot. Hopefully, it'll be at Freddy show. I'm going to show it to him. See what he thinks. Oh, you're going to want to race him if you know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to race. I'll let you race. And then if you beat him, they are going to want to race oh you. <laughs> I want to race Manyanyo on his. Who won on his? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. They did race though. They did? Oh, Oscar. Oscar won. Oscar? Oh, yeah, man, I'm Oscar, Oscar's fast. Yeah, I know. He's fast. His car is quick. And it's all with four-wheel drive? Yeah, four-wheel launch. So guys, y'all stay tuned. Make sure to keep up with Alex. Alex, uh, you have a channel for me? Right? Yeah, uh, I'm actually gonna post this next week, probably. Okay. The video of me picking it up. So if you wanna see that video, guys, make sure you hit up Alex. Exclusive Car Plug. That's the name of it. It basically shows you, my channel is more like auction videos, how, what we do, like buy cars and sell them, you know, flip cars for profit. Cause this was actually potentially gonna be for sale. We don't know yet what time, but it, it's gonna be for sale. This one's already for sale. That's nice. Yeah, man, whatever uh, we can make money on. <laughs> yeah, Alex is known for making money. Pretty much, if we can make him a dime, he's gonna sell it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'll sell anything. All right, guys, let's get out of here. Let's go check on my truck. Well, we're back here at the shop, guys. As you can see, they got my truck already on top already working on it like i said alex always takes care of me let me know what y'all think about alex's new cars out there his new honda his little project definitely go check out his channel i know i know he's gonna finish with the truck pretty soon to show y'all how it looks it looks straighter already guys 
So I can't wait to drive. Alex, explain to the people, because I get a lot of comments. Mm -hmm. Oh, you should go lower, you should go lower. Explain so, to the people why I can't go lower. The reason why you can't go lower on a four-wheel drive, four-wheel drive only, right? You can go lower on a two-wheel drive. The four-wheel drive has the axles. The axles cannot be in any, like, type of, angle. type of angle. They're supposed to be straight. As straight as possible because whenever you're getting ready to put it on, turn on the four-wheel drive or do, like, four-wheel drive launches, then it, you can snap them because they're they're tilted, right? right? They're like that. So keep them as straight as possible. That's why four you can't go any lower. You I think it's a the new ones you can only do a three five drop on a four wheel drive. I mean you can always go lower on a two wheel drive, not a four wheel drive. So there you go, guys. For all you guys asking why don't I go lower, that's why I don't yeah, go lower. The purpose is because you're gonna do a race truck. You right, can't, right. If you were just supposed to like cruise it, was well, this yeah, no problem? Two wheel drive. Yeah, exactly. But I do plan to race this truck. Right now, like I say, I'm just fixing it right now just so we can get it up for the show on October 15th. You gonna be there? Yes, sir. Absolutely. There you go, guys. Alex gonna be there. Make sure you swing by and check out his Honda. The one we just drove with oh, the yeah. cracked window. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> he, let, go swing by his booth. Check out his Shelby truck. He has one just like Freddy's. His is maroon. Yeah. And check out his gear, too. He has a bunch of merch, everything. Also, his dad's out there. Awesome painter, and he's, he's gonna be doing something on my truck, so y'all stay tuned. That's why I don't lower it anymore, but right now, Alex can make it look good, like if it was even yeah, lower than before. Just those little spacers made a big difference. Now, right now, we're just gonna fix the alignment. See, it looks even. No. Yeah, it looks way better right yeah, now. Yeah. I like the way it definitely looks. Yeah. Right now, we just took off these little spacers. So we, we're not supposed to, but right now, it's all right. It's um, all right because you're not doing Launches. Right yeah, you're not doing launches right now. And plus, my axles are ripped anyway. Yeah, so, up. Uh, once I get new axles, then we'll put those back on, and then we'll have to realign it again. Yeah. That's <laughs> nah, alright. Like I said, Alex don't care. He always helps me out. Once we put the axles back on, we'll put our spacers. That uh, these are provided in the kit, and they're super easy to put on. So. It's not gonna yeah, take long, but right now it's cool. It's gonna look really nice. And uh, yeah, I like the way that looks a whole lot better. But like I said, big shout out to IHC, always making that, you know, quality parts for sure. And uh, just the fact that you can go buy a stock shock from AutoZone and put it on, on your drop truck, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and uh, let Alex finish his alignment and let's get back on the road. went to go test drive it make sure everything was fine so hopefully everything looks good the wheels look much better they're not all twisted in it was a little bit off but they got it fixed with the machine and we'll just wait for Alex to get back and see what he says Thing, Alex. Hey, dark ass tent. Almost in Freddy's truck. <laughs> hey, un poquito se maneja sola, wey. Uh, can I take a picture? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Looks good? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. There you go, guys. Alex said it, it looks good. Everything looks good. Everything drives good. So make sure you hit up Exclusive Motorsports here in Conroe, Texas. So let's go ahead and get the hey, truck and get to work. Needed, bro, look. Yeah, it looks really good. I like it a lot. Yeah. I think that's what we needed, huh? That's it. We gotta put a rear disc conversion. Oh yeah, dude. Hey, come on, my buddy's starting, Ali. My buddy's starting. Bro, Ali, my buddy's starting. Just point, point, like, hey, good, good. Next video, rate conversion. Next video. Conversion. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go, guys. Next video, break conversion. Break conversion. Hey, that's that's true. We should do that. Next video, break conversion, sponsored by Exclusive. Ah, oh, Allah, man. <laughs> Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, man. Like I said, make sure you stop by Exclusive Motorsports here in Conroe, Texas. What's the address, Alex? Seven zero nine South Fraser. And the number. 936-647-1588. I almost forgot it. Damn. 1588, yeah. Yeah, then, schedule for an appointment for an alignment. Oh. So we do lifted trucks, drop trucks, anything. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Make sure you hit up my boy Alex. He's going to get you taken care of. Yeah, so. re record when you're driving it so you see this straight. Let go of the steering wheel. Let go of the steering wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's go ahead and get out of here. And a big shout out to my boy Alex. But we gotta get moving, we'll see what else we're gonna do on the truck. So 
guys, we made it back to the house. We're in my garage right now, and we have a little something we can put on the truck to make it look that much different. Big shout out to T Block Build, one of my followers on Instagram. He saw my video of me and Freddie talking about color matching my truck. He actually has the same model as, as my truck, but his is a crew cab, and he actually color matched his mirrors. He went ahead and took those off and put tow mirrors because he uses his truck to tow. So he had his old mirrors already color matched, sitting in his garage. He saw my video, he said he jumped up and went to go look for his old mirrors. He found them, he hit me up on Instagram and he's like, hey bro, I got these mirrors. I'm no longer using them, do you need them? So big shout out to him guys. He actually sent me his mirrors from California. So here are the mirrors guys, already color matched. They are the factory color. Obviously guys, these are the upgraded ones already with the signal light already in it. Also the little light at the bottom. That's gonna be an awesome touch Unfortunately, because of shipping, you know how it is whenever you ship something, you could put fragile on the box and everything like that, but them guys that are shipping just don't care. Some of them, not all. The majority of the time, your stuff comes damaged, as what happened with one of these mirrors. Now, this is what happened with one of the mirrors. It came cracked. He showed me the pictures, guys. The mirrors were not cracked. We won't be able to put the, the mirror on today because of the cracked mirror. So what I'm gonna do, but he felt really bad. He went ahead and shipped me a mirror, a brand new mirror. You know, obviously he wanted to make things right, even though it wasn't his fault. He shipped me another mirror. The, mirror, the new mirror came today and all we got was a box, an empty box. Again, I called him, I'm like, hey bro, like the mirror you paid for, it was just an empty box. So he got in touch with the people again. They said they're gonna send a, send me another mirror tomorrow. But like I said, I'm just so excited to get these mirrors in right now. And then obviously my truck is an LS. I don't have all the, the wiring for the signal lights or anything like that and the light at the bottom. So we are gonna have to get those wired up. We're gonna go ahead and I actually talked to Mr. Agustin and he actually said that we can remove the, the red cover. Uh, he said those are just covers. So. I already did on one, the one that was broken, I already took the cover off and we're going to go ahead and take my covers off of my truck and put the color match ones just so we can have them for OTM. We are going to get them wired with the signal lights and the little light at the bottom. We're going to have everything wired up. Go ahead and put these covers on my factory mirrors. Well guys, I wanted to give you a little update. The mirror that I was supposed to get today came in, but unfortunately it did not fit. I'm not having any luck guys with these mirrors. As you can see, this is a new mirror, but this circle piece didn't fit on this one. This, this one is much smaller, so it didn't fit. Like I said, this is a new mirror, but no big deal guys. What I did do is I went ahead and took off the covers off of the other mirrors. And at first they weren't fitting because I was gonna do that to begin with but the little clip in the back was a little too wide so now that this happened I went ahead and shaved it down and they popped right in so these are my old mirrors with the color match covers on so I think that looks awesome still you know what I mean yeah I don't have the light here or have the signal light here but it beats having a broken mirror or a mirror that does not fit still made it work i think it looks good guys look at that definitely changes the whole look of the truck especially now that in the daylight that you can see it i'm happy with that i just got to clean them up obviously i've been touching on them but you know obviously making them fit but they popped right in as soon as i shaved that little end off so i'm gonna go ahead and take it out see if we can get some pictures for you guys so let's go <laughs> 